Welcome to this small tutorial to install PrestaShop on your local host. We're going to download the PrestaShop framework from prestashop.com. You have to go to the uh, current um, stable version of uh, PrestaShop website. At this moment we're going to use uh, 1.4.6.2 stable version. Uh, we're going to put some information to download the package choose your your profile then download the file after downloading we're gonna set up the configuration be uh, sure that you have the MAMP or LAMP uh, program to use your Ap Apache or uh, your uh, server platform. We are using MAM for Macintosh and uh, start up your server and MySQL uh, database. Then you have to go to the localhost uh, PHP MyAdmin and set up your database creating uh, a database name with this tool. After that, we are going to unzip the prestashop.zip uh, to the framework directory. Then we can go to the prestashop folder, unpacked, and copy it to your workspace root from Apache. After that, you can just uh, enter the localhost address to load for first time the installer. And then you have the welcome landing page to install the PrestaShop uh, e-commerce. You should set up the regular options. We are not doing nothing special here. Just agree the terms and conditions of PrestaShop click on next and just follow the default steps of the the instructions this is very, pretty easy then you have to set up your data database password the database uh, table prefix after that you should uh, just click next and here you have to put the shop name we're putting a regular name after that choose the default country uh, then you have to put your first name last name email address for the administrator then the, the password to enter in, in this administration and finally retype the password then you should uh, just uh, check up the, to receive the information by email when you are doing your checkings and finally click on next and then you can start using uh, the regular PrestaShop website in the client side, you, as you can see, everything is working. You can visit uh, any product and just click on it, on it to uh, review uh, if it's working properly. Uh, everything is working fine. We could uh, add products to our cart or browse between the categories. If you want, we're going to start to manage the administration, entering our mail address and password as administrator well, even you are inside you could uh, just familiarize with the administration tool but we're going to see the catalog of products uh, we have some products then you have to go to the models here we're going to install the our model to to make it possible to have a rental model working just select the model file of that you have purchased it from our site and upload the file to the 
back office and then go to other models and install the model as you can see it's pretty easy then you have to click on configure here you have the configuration options to set up your rental business here you have to put different properties like well let's just a moment click again on configure if you have any dubs okay and now you have you have to uh, set up this uh, information if you want to get rental model working properly the first thing you f you have to fill up is the rental days range it is very easy you only have to put the days you want to rent your items as numbers like uh, one day comma two days comma seven days or any day you want and finally click on which weekdays or uh, regular days you want to exclude you're going to exclude it Saturday and Sunday and save your properties after that you have now three options one day two or seven days and we have excluded Saturday and Sunday then you can go to catalog and just uh, update some information inside the a product going to combinations tab and then setting up uh, product combinations then you should choose some attributes like rental days one two or seven and add it to the product if you want we can uh, update uh, or remove some other attributes like the colors just to demonstrate how it works and then you should try you should uh, fill up the price for every range day rental day like 10 10 dollars 10 pounds 20 and 50 for every day or every range day and then set up the quantity of these products and click on generate after that you have now your product available to rent if you go to the client side uh, public area you will we will we could check how it works you have now a date picker to check availability mm, for this product now uh, we're gonna rent for example this iPod in one day uh, check if it's available and remember to add products to the rental business you, you must be registered as a client so we're gonna just log in with our well create a first customer profile entering for first time uh, an email as customer creating a, a new account entering all the details this is a PrestaShop uh, default uh, workflow all the clients must be registered to add products and proceed with the checkout so just fill up for first time a customer profile Uh, well, lots of uh, information like email, password, the address, the um, zip code, the city. This information it's possible to be it's possible to update it later in your profile as customer. But now we're gonna put just the minimums. We forgot. Uh, some stuff here the telephone number and now register the the account okay we have to re rewrite the password okay let's go now we have an account created and after that you could check check any day if it's available it's not possible to return material in the saturday because we excluded that day so no problem we can check it for a friday and rent it two days it's saying that it's not possible to return in sunday because it's excluded so we're gonna try a monday for two days and it's working properly we could add it to the card now we're gonna try again in another day for seven days to rent it's okay inside our card and now we're going to the card to see the resume 
we have two products we're gonna we could update if we want the volume the quantity of this product and it's okay we could do it because it's checking if it's available and then if you want you can check change the the dates of this uh, rental range for the the product in your card resume uh, for example uh, we're going we can come back to the to the product uh, page and update the information and it's working perfectly so after all of this well we could for example revise and change the dates for this other product and as you can see everything it's working we could uh, just um, check some other stuff like the, the days that we are renting the, these products two days for the first iPod and seven for the other the first one is going to be three and three units and the second one is going to be one unit okay just checking if it's available it is and then the shipping cost is updating after change uh, the quantities because uh, depending of the days when you are uh, renting well paying the rental days you can save money uh, doing the picking days uh, with the, the same day after that you can order as well a purchase in the same uh, checkout process as you can see we have two rental products and one sale product everything in one uh, order after that you could just proceed as a regular purchase order accepting the terms of service of uh, this ish e-commerce and then we're going to pay with using a check payment and just click on the confirmation and finally uh, remember that if you want to update the rental range days in the configuration tab from within the model uh, configuration uh, page don't don't do it uh, if you are pretending to save the attributes of all your products because if you want to update it like for example now we have one two and seven days for all the rental products and we're going to change it for two three and five if you do that you're going to remove all the attributes from your uh, catalog and you will have to set up again all these days uh, attributes for every each product because uh, after that you are uh, just removing it just to make you know then uh, you have to put again all the rental days uh, for each product like now and set up the the prices for every range like before uh, so take care if you want to uh, define your range days maybe you could uh, choose the a big uh, amount of ranges to make it uh, easily but as you can see after reset and re re define the days you could uh, just make it works again as regular